What is up, YouTube? Gonna get me back at it with our New York Knicks My League series. Now, we left off last video on a little cliffhanger on seeing what lottery picks we got. But before that, do not, do not forget to drop a like. These videos are probably gonna get less views than the regular rebuilds or challenge rebuilds just because you see one rebuild all in one and this it's like split up videos kind of more realistic so make sure to drop a like it's really gonna help these videos get pushed out more but if you're not caught up to speed this is a my league series of the new york knicks eventually i will do more teams more young up and coming teams we're doing the knicks making them cool again but like i said if you're not caught up make sure to go catch episode one go drop a like down there go drop a comment down there but this is episode two we had our own pick which we were 31 and 51 and then we had the dallas mavericks pick which they also didn't make the playoffs and well guys we fell i don't know if we fell i don't know what our odds were but as you can see we are the eighth pick with our very own pick and then we are the 10th pick via dallas's pick not the best don't think we'll get like a generational talent in there i mean with this draft class you never know because these guys these made up draft classes uh because they're made up by a by a user by a player just like us making draft classes um it might be a little bit overpowered meaning like even in the eighth 10 spot we might be able to like eventually develop those guys into superstars mid 80s something like that but i'm gonna go see if i can pull off a trade we still have dennis smith jr who i did say was not our point guard of the future if we can trade him, if we can use him to move up in the draft, that would be beautiful. I'm going to rock with Fizdale. I'm going to rock with Caleb uh, Canales. I think that's how you say his name. But um, the trainer. This is a key important part in rebuilds. You want a guy with an A. A minus right here in Martin. We're going to bring him onto the team. It allows us to have three off-season training camps instead of just one or two. We need those. They're important for our development. It is NBA draft time. I want to see if I could at least move up to the fifth spot and maybe only give up one of the picks. I don't know who has the four. Okay, the Suns were willing to part ways with their fourth overall pick, but only if I gave them RJ Barrett. I'm going to just see if I can move to number four. Um, I don't think it's too realistic to move up to uh, the top three. I think those teams would just keep their top three three pick no matter what but anything past the top three i think is attainable especially if we don't make it too lopsided for us but it is a rebuild it is all uh, it is about us rebuilding the knicks not giving the other team the better uh deal here so i'm gonna see if i can give them our let's start with the 10th let's start with the 10th pick an eighth pick and a fourth pick would be beautiful in this draft and we'll just throw in dennis smith jr this might make it just go through right away you never know fourth pick for a 10th pick and Dennis Smith Jr., they're still in need of a, a point guard of the few. I mean, I mean, do they still have... Did they trade him away already? I don't see Ricky Rubio. Uh, they do have Cody Zeller, so I'm guessing he's with the Hornets. Take the point guard, take the 10th pick. They do not say yes. I don't want to overload this with like second rounders, but we'll see if that makes it go through. Um, Second rounders aren't really... Okay, there you go not the not the worst we move up to number four and they get a pretty solid deal out of us because they get a 10th overall pick still in this draft uh their point guard hopefully that they may, might seem of the future and two future second round picks it's kind of a good deal for both of us all right ladies and gents we don't need a scoring machine i'd rather have cole anthony uh who seems more of a legit point guard at 6-3 uh rj hampton i know i think in this draft class this made up draft class he's like an 80 overall 19 years old that's nice but i'm gonna go ahead and go with cole anthony another guy that's on like the top five like a lot of leaderboards a lot of draft boards he, he's going top five we need another legit big so with our eighth overall pick we're going with isaiah stewart there's still some players out here to be drafted but isaiah stewart i believe is that man doesn't have the ability to stretch the floor quite yet i don't know if we can develop that we'll see what what ends up happening but isaiah stewart coming to the knicks we end up with cole anthony and isaiah stewart in this draft i know a lot of you guys wanted me to get Lamelo ball uh he is i think in the top five in some uh draft boards uh but we couldn't he was picked before us we ended up going with cole anthony a 77 overall at the age of 20 right now mobley was picked hampton was picked uh khalil was picked at 6a isaiah stewart is our pick 77 overall i was correct he is not higher than vernon carey and then the other guy I was contemplating, I believe, was Jalen Smith. 
uh 76 overall but i guess we got the better one right there the 77 okay guys um i'm always interested obviously we're in free agency we have a little bit of money like two million off the max i'm not gonna give one to anthony davis that's just not realistic i'm pretty sure he's gonna go back to the lakers um but what i do like is thinking about the future future bench pieces future guys that would be great for us in a championship run i'm gonna give them four years i'm gonna give them a flat contract player option i'm gonna give them uh no flat contract player option 50 mil 50 mil flat he'll be signed for a long time he's only 23 years old if he reaches the 80s that would be great if he's like an 81 82 83 uh by that by his last year great i don't think that's the worst contract ever for a 23 year old who can score the ball malik beasley agrees now it's all up to the nuggets if they agree to us alonzo is 24 years old do we have to announce his rights season this is our improvement player progression our boy mitchell robinson goes up to an 83 overall rj barrett goes up to an 82 kevin knox goes up to an 80 isaiah stewart goes up to, oh okay he didn't go up you guys are probably like what you're cheating no i switched him from center to power forward he went up three um because he's gonna play power forward for me he's not gonna play center at six nine especially uh we already have mitch and i want to start mitchell so we're gonna start mitchell robinson isaiah stewart's gonna start at our power forward spot malik beasley will be our backup shooting guard position he's a 79 overall it looks like that's what he improved to uh bobby portis improves in some areas he's gonna shoot better from three his three ball improved his three ball improved and he shot 39 last season. I might sign him to an extension. Alfred Payne goes up to a 77. Frank goes up to a 77. Dwight Powell stays the same. And we just signed Cold Anthony or drafted. Ignas, we sent to the G League. He went uh, to a 76. So he's going to be a great bench piece as well now. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it right now. We just got to develop our youth, which is happening gonna send the players to training camps i don't know what young guys to send to the training camps i don't know what cole anthony's potential is and the reason i got a new trainer free camps available three out of three okay guys for the mentorship of this season rj bear reggie bullock uh just keep improving his badges his shooting badges hopefully he becomes a just straight uh shooter an amazing shooter amazing scorer mitchell robinson i don't think i have anybody out here to mentor him uh besides bobby portis but i think bobby portis is already mentoring isaiah stewart Kevin Knox, Malik Beasley, the age difference is only two years, but he can improve in a lot of shooting uh, badges. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, Isaiah Stewart by Bobby Portis. Flexible release, quick draw. That's what we're doing. Cole Anthony by Frank Nidokina. Uh, improve his ankle breaker, his floor general, and his clamps. Eventually, maybe defensive leader and all that other stuff because defense, defense, you know. Defense is dope, especially in 2K if we got a good team. That's it for us. Um, this is our roster. Cole Anthony at the one, a rookie. We're giving him 30 minutes. They suggested it's 19. Coach wanted to give him like 26, so I just gave him a little bit more. Our Malik Beasley, our sixth man at a 79 overall. Bobby Porter, 78 overall is our uh, seventh man. Nidokina, our eighth man. Dwight Powell, our ninth. And we're going 10-man rotation with Ignas getting minutes as well as 76. Coach wanted Alfred Payton to have minutes. I'm not going to give him minutes. I want Ignas to get minutes. Bobby Porter's Dwight Powell. Frank, Malik Beasley, that's already a nice uh, five coming off my bench. Might sneak into the playoffs, might not. If anything, we still have our first round pick. It's going to keep it on seven seconds with Coach Vizdale, even though he likes running grit and grind. Going to simulate to the halfway mark of the season, see how our team is doing, see if we need to make any moves, uh, trade out for Peyton, trade players that we aren't going to use for the future. Like I said, going to make maybe make a trade or two a season last season. We traded for the Dallas pick, and then we traded in the offseason to move up to pick number four. We let we, we let Dennis Smith Jr. go in that trade, and we'll see what we need to do here as well. Of course, I will show some gameplay, but it also depends if we're in a playoff position. So we make the playoffs. I'll show some playoff gameplay instead. This last game of the season is against the Atlanta Hawks, who have already clinched a spot with a 41 and 40 record. Uh, we have a 40 and 41 record. I'm going to simulate with Simcast. If it's close, I'm jumping in. Here we go gonna simulate game i'm hoping we make the playoffs i'm hoping this isn't like the oh gosh oh gosh it's close it's close we're gonna have to jump yes let's go we're gonna clinch ourselves a spot gonna go on fast because i'm always gonna just go zoom past it work happening with two minutes left baby we clinch this we're up we're up 20 points clinch the playoff spot 
let's go get some gameplay. Wait, no, wait. If we have the playoff spot, let's just go get a playoff game in. So, gonna continue the simulation. We clinched our spot in the playoffs for the second season. In our second season, we're a playoff team. At the end of season number two, we're a playoff team, 41 and 41 record. Anthony Davis, most valuable player, rookie of the year, LaMelo Ball, six man, Dennis Schroeder, Kawhi Leonard, defense player, most improved, Markel, and Frank Vogel, coach of the year for the Lakers. We have Cole Anthony on the all rookie first team, and we have him on, yes, Isaiah Stewart, all rookie second quick season stat check i don't know why mitchell robinson's so mad at us you're not gonna be a focal point of our uh offense rj barrett scoring 20 a game six rebounds four assists 15 and a half for kevin knox with four rebounds i would like a little bit more rebounds especially at six nine small forward power forward combo maybe it's the minutes who knows um what else everybody's shooting pretty efficiently cole anthony as a rookie 15 and seven and a half he's just gonna be a stud for us uh isaiah stewart 12 and seven so we actually end up being the six seed how does that make sense wait what happened there we're the six seed uh everybody's okay the bulls ended up being 40 and 42 hawks 41 and 41 we have the tiebreaker with them so we ended up in the sixth spot and i said i'm just gonna simulate game by game with simcast so i don't accidentally just lose 4-0 and not get any gameplay relatively close so game one we uh, we lose we lose i'm running an eight no a nine man rotation as well so Hopefully we steal one from the Bucks without me having to pull. Okay, no, it's the Bucks. It's just great experience for our youth. Game three at home. Do we take one for the pride? For pride's sake, please. We took one. We took one. We're two and one with the Bucks. So this is what game number th four. Game number four. We're two and one. I could afford to simulate another game. Do we win our games at home or do the Bucks? adapt and absolutely destroy us this is the series clinching game for the bucks do we lose to them do we win to them i don't know do we keep it close win or go home for us we're keeping it we're keeping the lead oh my gosh oh my gosh it's close it is red oh hoo, hoo, hoo. do not pull away in this fourth quarter please do not pull away and i could jump in and maybe extend this extend this a little bit more we're we're scoring we're scoring. I might jump in with four minutes left. I'm going to jump in right now. Three and a half minutes. 101, 106. Win or go home for us. Here we are. We are on defense. Cole Anthony. Everybody's out here. Everybody's out here. Mitchell Robinson. Uh, who? I don't, it's another rookie, Dante. I don't really know about him. Cole Anthony. George Hill. Got to play defense if we want to stay in this series. Extended to, what is it? Six games. Oh, why is he wide open? It is on Hall of Fame. That's the only thing I play on. Stop and pop. Nice little green bean. 103, 106 with three minutes left. I think I could pull this off. Malik Beasley is in at our three spot guarding Giannis. I don't know about that. We're 6'5 going up against a seven footer. <laughs> that's a that's a big yikes. They got Andrew Wiggins on their squad. Good block, Mitch. Throw it up. Throw it up. Okay, I throw it up way too early. Still got the ball. What do we run? What do we run? Give it to Cole Anthony. He's wide open on the three spot. Wide open on the three. No. I didn't know his release, to be completely honest. That's why it bounced back on us. That's not going. I thought I was there. It was looking good for us until I completely missed that three. Isaiah Stewart, get over here, baby. Get over here. Nice little pick and roll game. And one. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, when I drafted Cole Anthony, it said he had like the highest. <laughs> oh my gosh. It said he had the highest vert in the draft class. I don't know if that's true in real life, but it said he had like a 44 inch vert, which is kind of stupid. I don't know if that's true or not. If it is, that boy can jump. That boy can fly. Dude, put up your hands, bro. There's only so much I can help. 107, 110 with a minute left. We got this. Is there, Stewart? 19 points. Huge 19 points by him. 56%. DiVincenzo. I'm helping you. No, I'm not. He's wide open. <laughs> I sagged off. I sagged off. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let's back him up. Back him up. Back him up. Easy buckets. And one. And one. We still got a chance, boys. I thought that was a dagger with that three. I thought it was a dagger with the three. Game winner coming right up. 
Do not foul. Do not foul. Do not foul. I was about to reach, but that would have been dumb. Because they probably would have got the ball right back. And then we'd have to foul. Because the shot clock would reset to 14. I beat that. No, I beat that. He shot a three. He drilled a three. GG's to the Milwaukee Bucks. They move on. Good experience for our young guys. Who wins the championship? Philadelphia wins it. And Ben Simmons is the finals MVP. Not only did we just make the playoffs with a great, great young core, we have the sixth overall pick because we, at the start of the rebuild, without making any trades, New York already owns Dallas's pick, 2021 pick. This is the 2021 pick. They're still bad. We're st <laughs> we got a sixth pick and the 17th overall pick, which is ours. I'm going to end the video here. Another lottery pick or a big trade is coming right up to push us over the edge to make us true contenders because we were the, we're the sixth seed. Let's see how far we can make it in the third season, fourth season, hopefully a championship, fifth season, maybe repeating as champs. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. What would you like me to do? What would you like me to do with that sixth overall pick? Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.